up YouTube? It's your boy YTD back with another video, man. And today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some of the things that you should do right after you get your CDL. Now, let me say this, y'all. Depending on who you are, where you are, what your family situation is, uh, everything is gonna be a little bit different uh, across the board. But pretty much I'm gonna talk to y'all from a perspective of what my goals were initially, right after I got my CDL, and some of the things that I did to work towards them goals. So right off the back, y'all, once you get your CDL in your hand, I'm gonna assume that most of you guys probably did go to a company. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that. So if you did go to a company where you signed your contract, you signed like the year, you told my work for y'all a year, get your experience, whatever you're gonna do there, and then you're gonna head out. If that's the path that you're going, or if you went if you went with that company and you fulfill your contract and you like it and you stay after you did fulfill your contract, that's great. But y'all know that I went, I got my CDL out of pocket, like I paid out of pocket. I went to um, an individual CDL school in my area. It was called Trans uh, Trans Tech. It was three thousand dollars out the pocket. It was a a month a month long, four days out the week eight hours of the day, but at the end of the program, you test out, you get your CDL, you can go wherever you want. No contract, no screws, or I mean, no ties, or no, nothing like that to to nobody. You don't owe no company, nobody, no school, nothing. Your CDL is yours right off the gate. That's what I recommend y'all do from the beginning because it's not good to have ties, but you got to do what you got to do, man. Not everybody has three bands to go pay for school. And I understand that. So you're going to go to your Swifts. Y'all going to go to your CRSTs. Y'all going to go to your PAMs. You know, I know y'all going to go to Cypress. Hey, I say go to Cypress, man. Cypress, their schooling and all that stuff and the pay is like the best I've seen as far as pay and uh, home time and the experience that you do get through like the schooling and all that it's the best it's the best i've seen so far y'all compared to what i've heard i heard that prom is pretty good but prom wants you out two weeks at a time with cypress they just wanted you one week and depending on where you live you can get home you, you can get home in between the week depending on where you live point blank period point blank period since i was close to a plant i was lucky enough to get home two three times sometimes throughout the week, you know, but it's also was times where I was gone the whole week, you know, it was like 50, 50, you, ne you never really know, you never really know. But for you guys that do that, you get your contract. I mean, you, you do, you finish out your contract, y'all, simple as that. You do your time and depending on, like, depending on if you like the company, you get out. I mean, you don't get out, you stay. And if you don't like the company, you leave. So before you guys that did go get your CDL, out of pocket my recommendation to you look at your pepsis because you wait me hold on me, me pause real quick i'm telling all these companies because like i said from my perspective i wanted to go local since day one i never envisioned myself being an otr driver staying out three four weeks at a time that just wasn't me so from my perspective to y'all i would advise you to go to pepsi coca-cola budweiser Eps, you know, look in your area, look in your area for all the local companies. Try to look at every single local company in your area. If you want to go local, if you want to go local, look at all your local companies first before you start looking for, uh, you know, one week out companies. That's how I did. I looked local first and then I looked at one week companies that want you out. And then I looked at two week companies. Anything. If it said three week, it was it was a wrap. I don't. I was just gonna say if I if I was forced to go three weeks, I was just gonna turn my CDL back in. Y'all can have it because there's no way there's no way y'all gonna keep me out away from my house three weeks and then come home for two or three days and then gotta leave right back out for another three weeks. It's just no way. I'm not built like that. For y'all that are, congratulations. Uh, hey, without y'all, a lot of this freight wouldn't get moved. So I respect y'all to the fullest. But. Like I said, check your, check all the local companies in your area first. More than likely, I feel like, I feel like it's a, it's a 60, 40 chance. It's a 60, 60% 60 chance you are going to get hired locally. 
in your area right off the back with a fresh CDL, whether it's Budweiser, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, and any other local companies in your area, it's 40% not. For you guys that might live in the boonies, I don't know, like, I always live near major cities. So like, the closer you live to a major city, the more likely it is for you to be able to get uh, a local job because it's it's a major city. It's gonna be, they need more jobs, more people, you know, that, that type of thing. But if you out in the boonies, you know, you staying out in the middle of nowhere, you stay in small little towns, the chances of you getting a local job, of course, is gonna be um, a little bit harder. So let's say, ain't no local jobs in your area. You, you just, you, you out of luck, your next step. Your next step is look at the one the one week companies. That's what I did. I didn't go local right off the bat, but I could. I just didn't have the knowledge that I did. I just didn't look hard enough in my area for the local companies. I had a, I had a um a homeboy. He got his CDL like three months before I did. He went local right off the bat with Budweiser, making like nine hundred dollars a week, home every night working. I think he said he was working eight to ten hour days. So. I don't know, y'all do the math. That seemed pretty good, especially when you come from work on warehouse work, McDonald's, food line, little, you know, uh, customer service jobs, whatever. So when you go from, you know, five, six a week to 900 a week and you're still home every day, I feel like that that that's, that's a good chunk of change. That's a good chunk of change. So if you ain't got your local, look for your one week companies. Your one week companies, like I said, gonna be your flatbed companies, a lot of flatbed companies are one week, like um, PNS, Cypress, Gypsum Express, uh, what other ones? It's a few other, y'all. It's a few other flatbed companies that haul drywall, they haul, they haul like the um, the plastic, the plastic pipes, and a lot of them they haul like bricks and stuff like that. Look at those companies. Look at those companies, because they're just gonna say, we want you to be one week out, home on weekends, home guaranteed every weekend. And depending on if you're regional, like how I was along with those companies, you should be able to get home at least once, at least once in the middle of the week. That's what um, PNS promised me. When I was, uh, when I was looking at, at PNS, they told me that they could get me home in the middle of the week and I could be making about 14, 1500. And that is some good day. That that's good money, y'all. That's good. That's good money. So I heard PNS is good. I talked to a lot of drivers at PNS and they told me do it. And if you guys don't know, PNS, they got, I don't know if they still have it, but when I was looking at them, they had a lease to purchase program where if you're there for three months, they put you with a list and you can lease your own truck from them and pay your truck off, become an owner operator and get your own truck and be your own, you know, be your own, your own company, your own driver, all that for yourself um, through their company. So I thought that was a, that was real huge. That, that's a huge, huge plus. You know, I was really close to doing it, but hey, we, I ain't want to, I wanted to be local y'all. I wanted to be, I, 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 don't judge me. I just wanted to be local. So next up, um, if you get all your get all your uh, endorsements, I don't think y'all gonna be able to get tanker uh, tanker jobs or anything like that off rip. Cause a lot of a lot of jobs in your area that are tanker, you are gonna have gas companies everywhere. Like um, me, the area that I live in, there's literally a gas plant or a petroleum a petroleum oil plant, whatever, about five miles from here. So it was. If I wanted to stay local and really make some really good money, it was smart for me to go get my tanker and has my endorsement because that's where I'm going to be able to make the most money with my endorsements and in my in my city. So I can't complain about that. But you know, you guys can try shooting y'all shots at them companies with a fresh CDL and with your endorsements. Endorsements. I'm not sure, you know, how lucky you're gonna get, but you can try. It, 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 it don't hurt to try. They don't hurt to try. So you you never know. A lot of companies, they get desperate. They eventually, yeah, they eventually get desperate and they need somebody to come work them jobs. So they are gonna do whatever they need to do to get you in that truck. Uh, lastly, man, what I don't recommend, unless you wanna do it, is being like a real OTR driver, like two weeks out at a time. Those are gonna be your Swifts. Like I said, your Swifts, your Pam, uh, 
your CRSTs, um, uh, Hibachi or Heisback. I don't know how to say it, but you know, those, those companies, man, that y'all always see their trucks at the truck stops with the drivers in them sleep. Uh, those companies, I ain't go that route, but I heard they pay, they still, I heard Swift is doing pretty good. I heard Swift, uh, Swift is a pretty good damn company. I know they got a bad reputation because they keep crashing in the, every damn thing out here. But I heard as far as the the company equipment and all that stuff, I heard they're pretty good, man. I heard they're pretty good. So I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and just go off of whatever everybody else say. So a lot of people said they're good. And from the people I talked to said they're, they're pretty straight. So, hey. So if a hey, holla at them, man, if that's what, if that's what y'all going to do, holla at them. So I know I did a whole lot of rep in this video, trying to give you guys some options of what to do. Uh, these are pretty much all the options you got. These are all the options you got, unless you uh go to some mom and pop. You can look at some mom and pop uh companies, but a lot of the mom and pop companies, unless you know somebody, you know, they're going to want you to have some experience, even with uh with my uncle i told you i had an uncle that drove 20 years and i went with him over there at three star and three star they wanted me to have you know at least six months of experience before i even came over there at least six months so i didn't even go over there until i had got like a year and some change so even with your mom and pop companies they're gonna want you to at least have a little bit of experience unless you plugged in if you plugged in you can get on with a mom and pop company and make a hundred thousand with a fresh cdl I'm gonna just tell you that you're gonna make a hundred thousand with a fresh CDL if you stay in out a week. You might you still not you're not gonna get home as much as you would probably like because with the mom and pop companies you do gotta run unless they got local dedicated freight, which most of them don't. But you know, other than that, that's pretty much all y'all options, man. So I know this video getting pretty long. I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer. So it's your boy YTD. Hope y'all enjoyed enjoyed the video. We out. Peace.